So what I'm doing here today is I'm going to go ahead and replace the hard drive that failed in this laptop. This is kind of an older laptop, but I like to keep an extra one around for a spare. This is probably, it was probably manufactured 2013, 2014. It's an HP uh, 360. Okay, so when I start up the computer, I get this uh, error code. It's a hard disk error code 301. It just means that the hard disk has failed. I've already tried to recover the information. Unfortunately, I didn't make a backup of it, um, but it, it's okay. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and replace the hard disk with a hard disk that I have on an older laptop. Um, there might be one problem with that, and that is um, this particular computer has a newer type of BIOS that runs in it, um, and the older laptop is still going to be the legacy type BIOS. It, it should still work though. Okay, so I already started working on this. There's uh, some covers that you got to remove uh, to get to some of the screws. There's one here. This is the back of the computer. There's one here. There's one here. So you got to lift this off. There's two covers here and here. There's one up here. You have to lift those off. You don't have to re uh, remove the covers here or here. You can leave those on. So I'm going to try to make this video as quick as possible. If you have a magnet handy, you can unscrew all these and just fish those screws out of there. Makes it a little bit easier than turning this over and dumping it out. Okay, so the next thing is we're going to pry off the keyboard. And if you have some kind of wedge tool, this is probably the hardest part. Hey, once you have the keyboard pried up, you're going to remove the keyboard and there's going to be two cables that you need to disconnect from the board. One of the cables is for the keyboard and the other one is for the touchpad. And the connection is just a little latch that lifts up for both. And I'll show you that in a second. off but there's two cables there okay so here's the bad hard drive and there's also another uh, cable that needs to be disconnected you're gonna lift the latch on that one also take that cable out Okay, so once you take the two screws out, disconnect the cable, you can just pry this hard drive up. Take the hard drive out. Let's see. It's pretty easy. You're going to need this connection right here. So we're going to go ahead and pull this out because you're going to need it on the new hard drive so you can see that right there and then there's the connection that I took off the old hard drive I'm gonna reuse that to put it on the new hard drive I just want to make a note about something you know if you're replacing a hard drive or if you have to 
take your computer apart. This might be the time to replace the battery if you need to. It's all right there. It's very, these components in here are all um, accessible. There's a couple of screws right here and here. Take the cable out, put a new battery in um, if you need to. The only thing I would say is if you're going to put memory in this, memory requires a little bit more uh, taking a part of the board. You'd have to take the board off because the memory is underneath this board and there's no access panel um, on the back of this computer. So that might be a little bit challenging. Okay, here's the bad hard drive. Take the cover off. Here's the replacement drive. Put that cover back on. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, reuse that connection that we took off the old hard drive. So that's just going to snap in place like that. So you're just going to go ahead and put this replacement drive back in the computer. Connect the hard drive, put the keyboard back on, you know, connect your cables first, put your keyboard back on. And then we'll fire it up and see what happens. Okay, I just got finished putting a new hard drive in. Um, when I fire this up, it still says that it's uh, there's an error. And uh, the error says, please install the operating system on your hard disk. Now, I know for a fact there there is an operating system on that that used hard disk that I have, it had Windows 10 on it. It's just that the BIOS that the older laptop had uh, uses a legacy BIOS and this newer model, uh, they use a, a more current BIOS. So I'm gonna go into the BIOS settings and see if there is legacy support. Okay, so I'm in the BIOS and I'm going to go down to boot options and there is something that's called legacy support. It's disabled. I'm going to enable that. Change, yes. Okay, I think I'm done here. Okay, now this says uh, you're trying to change the operating system boot mode, and I, I did. So this tells me to put in the code 8748 and enter. 10 minutes of Windows self-diagnosing and repairing, it finally came up. So it's not that difficult to replace a hard drive uh, unless, you, unless you use an older version or something like that, an older hard drive, you might have to go into the BIOS and maybe change over some of the settings. Um, so if you're going to put a brand new hard drive that has no operating system on it, then you would just do the whole procedure, put the drive in, and then you would put uh, maybe Windows, um, uh, the operating system on a USB, and then you can boot it from there and configure your hard drive and so on. 
Anyway, that's how you change out a hard drive on a, an old laptop. Thanks for watching.